Hello, this is Sybil Harmony, psychic medium, spiritual teacher, and healer. That's all. <laughs> and I wanted to just come on and do an update. I did another. I did an update a couple of days ago, and um, I talked more about spiritual healing and did a healing on there. If you want to check that out. But I feel like it's important for us to unplug. I know I'm super sensitive as a healer and I've learned how to unplug from trauma or what what is happening in the world so that I can kind of recharge my batteries and be there for the, you know, the other for myself and for the other people in my life and not get pulled into the pits because I can't be of service or do any good to anybody if I'm drained. Well, the light is so weird here, so it goes in and out. Maybe it doesn't like what I'm talking about because <laughs> I'm really connected to the sun. But for I put another light in here, but for some, there, now it's going. <laughs> so it's just gonna do that, okay. Um, but I wanted to ask, answer some questions and ask my guides some questions that I got in the comment sections that didn't come out. One didn't come out from last week. Um, and I wanted to talk about current events and the war in Ukraine here just a little bit. I did that in my last update, but I wanted to do that a little bit more. And then I'm gonna make another video that's gonna come out right next to this one that's going to be for my newsletter. That one is the one I'm going to put in my newsletter. And that one is going to be about why you're here as a soul, your purpose, and helping us understand more about our spirit, our life's mission, and how to handle these things when they happen on earth, especially if you're super sensitive. And now my glasses are fogging up because when the angels come in, <laughs> I get really like hot when my guides and angels come around me, I get like super hot, so much that my glasses are fogging like I have a mask on. <laughs> okay, so, um, but all the time I'm talking, I am sending you love and Sumati, I'm sending you energetic healing because that's what I do. So sometimes I get a little excited, just the camera, okay. Um, but I did talk in my update The came out yesterday or so today is the 23rd um, so I talked about spring and some of the April energies coming up I talked about um, Clarence Thomas how I do feel like he's probably going to retire at some point I do feel like he excuse me I'm getting my pendulum I do feel like he makes it through this illness but that there's other emotional stresses going on because of political things and his age and just his general health does not look good. Um, so I feel like kind of like for political reasons too, he may be stepping down and just trying to get out of the limelight because of the trouble that his wife got involved in the January 6th insurrections. So that's part of it, but they're not going to say that. But I do feel like he's getting close to, he keeps showing me a two, so two months, two years, I'm not sure, but a retirement looks like it's coming up for him. Um, I do, I guess I need to say the obvious, I see Katanji Brown, uh, what's her name? The first African American uh, judge, excuse me, for, I'm terrible with names, I'm good with energy, I'm terrible with names. Um, but I see her getting confirmed. So that's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, everybody's saying that on the news. She has the votes. But it's just um, terrible what's happening in the <laughs> confirmation. Um, <laughs> it's, it's like when they take like good, like normal, well-meaning, you know, people and then put crazy on them. <laughs> it's just, it's hard to watch. It's just crazy <laughs> it's supposed to be our senate okay i mean the kavanaugh and kind of the amy coney barrett hearings but mostly the kavanaugh hearings were just like a circus because he brought that in there you know the beer 
comments and his history of sexual abuse and then screaming and yelling and losing his composure. So this lady is totally, she's so intellectual and poised and she's just giving them like the answer to the question. Like, here's a, here's the answer. It's like, it's nothing like too crazy, but they're bringing the crazy. <laughs> so I, I, I can't watch that anymore. She, she'll be confirmed. Um, so a couple more things to update. Uh, let's see, anything else coming in? Oh yes, um, remember how I told you that in psychic reading, even in astrology, there can be times when things can happen. It doesn't mean they are gonna happen, but it's like gives you the energy of the time. <laughs> Weird light, okay. Um, so I guess the sun, there, I'll move forward, okay. So um, when you're doing a psychic reading, you could I can look at like what is happening now I can see that because it's already happening. But because we have free will, because we can do prayers, healings, make different choices, take other actions, and everybody else is praying and, and healing and taking other actions and jumping timelines and what, you know, you can't really, some things are written in stone, but a lot of things are not and they can be changed. That's actually what I do in my private sessions. I look at people on their life path, what they're working with, and it's like, okay, so what do you want to create? What do you, how do you, if you let go of the karma, you're changing the way you're thinking or feeling or the actions, or you're letting go of, you're using energy tools to jump timelines to change the outcome of something, because we can, because isn't that why we're here to grow, evolve, and heal? Then you change the outcome. Sometimes simply because you're looking at something, it changes. So it's, it's, it, you can't say things are written in stone. But I will say that when this first happened, my video on February 22nd, I put it out because I remember it was 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, February 22nd. And people said, why are you putting out your video? You're supposed to come out on the first because I just felt like it needed to come out because I knew there was going to be a war and I was crying because I knew something big is about to happen and it's not good. And I don't care if you're, um, think America's done, you know, America's not perfect. We've done a lot of really nasty things in the world with other wars and, and um, I don't agree with what every president's ever done. And, you know, we're not a perfect country and I'm sure Ukraine is not perfect either. And I don't know, like, I hear people saying Michael Moore is is for the war or something, or I, he's against the Ukraine or something, and I don't know why. I haven't listened. I like Michael Moore. Um, I do listen to him, but I don't. I think he's wrong about this because whatever has happened before, you don't solve a problem by bombing children, elderly people, destroying homes, art architecture and starving people and taking away their water. <laughs> you don't send, I mean, it's insanity that they're sending, you know, I, I, I'm not against the Russian people. I'm sure they're good people too, but it's just like, it's not, it's like genocide. And that's how I see this. And that's why I made that video. There's going to be a war. And that prediction was correct. Um, I saw when Trump was going to be impeached, I didn't make a video and I thought I should have because I saw, because when he won, I was like, oh my God, I was crying. And then I was like, my guides go, he's going to be impeached. And I was like, what? Oh my God. Because I knew he was out for himself. He never really did anything except give rich people tax breaks um, and drill, you know, and not help the environment. But, um, some people liked him. So, I mean, I tried to like him. <laughs> I couldn't, just every time he opened his mouth, I would be like, oh my God, it's so hateful and nasty and stupid. I couldn't, I couldn't. And so what I didn't see, I saw that Trump would be impeached, but I didn't see that he wouldn't be convicted because I didn't look any further. So I just thought, okay, he's gonna be impeached. It's gonna be okay. Well, not really. <laughs> um, and so, 
in the Ukrainian war, I did see that there was gonna be a war, but I'm having trouble because there's so many moving parts and everything's happening so quickly. And it's there's free will and choice, so it's hard to see what is actually actually gonna happen with this, but I do feel like something happens in June. Something could happen in April or May too. I mean, things are happening all the time. I do feel what they showed me that I, and, and what from my first reading as that Ukraine will win. And how can you win when you've been so badly destroyed and wounded? So that's going to take a long time for the healing, the rebuilding. But at some point, I feel like autocracies, which is the leader of Russia, the dictators don't win. The free world and the people win. And I do feel um, what my guide showed me in that February 22nd video is that Ukraine will rebuild at some point. Um, and that um, Edgar Cayce said this in one of his readings that Russia will be our friend someday. I do believe that we will at some point find peace. Does it happen this June? I hope so. Does it go on longer? I, it's, it's not, I don't know that that's been decided. People look at it and they see things and that's legitimate what they're seeing, I guess. Uh, um, I can only report to you what I'm seeing. And so it's not clear. Will NATO get involved? Um, well, my feeling is that why do we have a peacekeeping force on the planet if we can't use it to keep peace? I mean, it just is like, but I do feel like something like at this point, like they're already involved. I feel like they're involved behind the scenes and we can't see what, the, what they're actually doing. Um, America and other countries, like there are somebody's secret forces or something going in there, or they will be going in there and we may get more involved. It could turn into, is it gonna turn into a World War III? It's not decided. Okay, the pendulum says not decided. Um, I also saw Oh, the last two, three days, I was in my video name. My last video was the end of Putin, and I changed it to the end of the war because the war will end. But I didn't want to say that someone's going to die, even though it's to me, he's like Hitler. I don't I didn't want to say that. So I changed the name of the video. But what I was seeing the last two or three days was that somebody from inside takes Putin out. And then what's been happening in my visions is he's been coming through and trying to give me like Putin himself and giving me like misinformation. And then this morning I saw in my vision, oh, he's okay. Like whatever was going to happen, there somebody from the inside was going to take him out. It didn't happen. So... That's, um, God, this light is just so weird. Let me see if I pull the camera in. That helps. So that did not happen. Um, and let me get my cards here. Because he's showing me he's okay. Let me get my cards here. So how is he going to be? Because if they took him out, the war would certainly be over, wouldn't it? Um, because he's the one that's doing this. Uh, genocide. Okay, so um, that since it looks like that may have failed, is he going to be taken out by his own people? Is he going to be taken out by his own people? I still feel like it's not big, but I feel like it's an ongoing issue that he's got to deal with because there are people who are looking at him, younger people or other people like, this is not cool. They're, you, you know, they're getting news from, you know, other countries are not supporting them. Money is going away. People are speaking out. 
and they're 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 against him but are they gonna it, this isn't a big yes it still feels like there's that threat there but from what he was showing me Putin and there's the sun again <laughs> Putin was showing me that um he he's like um yeah I'm okay haha <laughs> I'm still the king okay but if you look in his eyes, when I looked in his eyes at the pictures, um, let me see if I can get a better light. When I looked in his eyes at the pictures, see that looks clear. Um, what I could see was that, sorry about this. <laughs> it's a homemade, I'm just a psychic healer in a home doing a video. Okay, that's a little better. Um, so what I saw, when you look in his eyes, this is something that you see with people who are getting ready to leave the earth plane. If you look in their eyes, it looks like they're far away. Like their future, like, sorry, this is not working. <laughs> their future is not looking good. The future is... Like he's seeing, he knows he's in trouble. He knows it's not working. When you look in his eyes, see how my eyes are more like, I'm a little bit far away, but I'm also here. But if you look in somebody's eyes who's getting ready to pass, and I don't wish anybody to die. I'm just saying, if you look in somebody's eyes who's getting ready to leave the earth plane soon, they'll have a far away look. Or this is somebody who's going to die young or somebody who's getting ready to pass. And it might be because of illness or medications can do that too. But I, when I look into his eyes, it's somebody who knows that he's not supported and who is looking at some other, it, it's like somewhere far away, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so will NATO get involved more than they are was the question and um, will they get involved more than they are uh, not anytime soon I, I feel like I said so I feel like the answer is I'm not seeing that and I'm not seeing that like um, we kind of are trying to get out of America, are trying to get out of wars, like ongoing wars for that just go on and on. And this that could happen with this. Um, but I feel like they already are doing things, like I said, that we don't know about. Now, the next question I wanted to look at is hurricanes in Florida. Somebody asked me about that. So hurricanes in Florida from June to November. So my first thought is, why do you think there's a hurricane season anymore? Because that's another thing that's happening. And I'm going to talk about safety and that other in my my next video that I'm making. But um, show me a card because I do. When I look at it, I see big waves. <laughs> that's like unpredictable things with water and weather events. All right. So what I'm seeing here is. Surrender fear. So we don't want to start getting into fear about things that aren't here now because when you're in fear, your body or your mind can think that it's already happening even though it's not actually physically happening, if that makes sense. And so um, show me month by month, show me June. June a little bit but it's not, it, it feels, looks like water comes up. You see the water coming up around the house, but it doesn't look catastrophic. July. July, uh, we're worried. I don't, okay. August. August with hurricanes in Florida. Oop. I feel like August is probably not going to be good. I see a lot of water. Um, so that's a sign that there is more water. 
coming up. So August, September. Show me September. Uh, September's got clouds, but not as bad. Cloudy, maybe windy, really windy. Okay, September, October. You know, so if you're in... October has storms, but I don't see a lot. Like, I see them more like wind. I don't see a big problem October and November. So, one thing you can count on is that, yeah, November's bad. So, I'm going to say, uh, what was that? June, I think it was August, and November looked like the worst. I think the worst was coming up in August. So, just be prepared. Um, same if you're in, you know, earthquake country, you always want to be prepared because the energy is unpredictable and we have extreme weather now. <laughs> so, um, all right. And so may you be healed because in truth you already are. I'm sending you love. And so just breathe and let's ground and I'll do a little healing in my next video. And thank you so much. You guys are awesome for um, uh, leaving comments. L please like and subscribe. It helps my videos to get out. And um, also, if you'd like to book a private session, I'm at Sybil, S-I-B-Y-L-Harmony.com. And I do phone readings or I'm in person in Northern California. All right. Oh, well, I should just mention, I do see... The COVID kind of being like it's just not as bad um, as it was before. I don't feel like we're going to have lockdowns. How is COVID in? Um, well, we can look at that more because I don't want to rush through that. But just let me have in America. Yeah, there, there's still going to be COVID. How's uh, California? How's California going to be this spring with COVID? It's not that bad. It's like, um, don't get arrogant about it or think that, oh, it's not, you know, nothing. You know, still really take good care of yourself. I don't see any huge things with it. And um, most people feel like, and I agree that like by around next year, it'll kind of just be, I feel kind of like it's going to be kind of like cold and flus, but we don't want to just... Um, dismiss it or get freaked out about it so just have common sense with you know um following the uh advice of your doctor <laughs> okay take care